welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to showcase Whitebeard. It is it is in Madara like in the poll because uh, we noticed some things and so he gets a few changes. So I'm going to showcase Whitebeard today. I have 150, 156, no 165 power. I have him on rank 5, level 19 and a 50% range increase trade on him. So he has 500 damage and 18 range on placement which looks really strong but keep in mind he costs 1.25k which means we can't place him right away in the first wave so white beard on placement as i said costs 1250 gold and uh, starts with a cane cane yeah cone aoe and he his attacks like a double attack and we have on the top path we have increased speed and range and we have another speed increase so he starts off with a high spell but he has some early upgrades which decreases his speed randomly from 6.5 to 4.1 so and on the bottom path we have 80 percent more damage and even more speed reduction and a bit more damage so that's basically what you will always have on the as stat because two and uh, both ways two upgrades is the bit like it's what you will upgrade anyway so we're at one point uh, okay it's level 19 we, we will be at like 1.3k damage so top path top path is has a new ability white beard dashes forward and blasts the target with a powerful shockwave okay wait let me get rid of shinobu so we can actually see the attacks or like, just a weak shinobu some like tanky enemies get through so yeah he jumps and it turns from a cone to a splash aoe and fruit master is just a damage increase so we are at 5k damage now then the next upgrade okay wait let me actually yeah okay we have to move forward not that easy and we're getting stunned all the time that's bad <laughs> let me please have a skip wave so i can make sure that we don't die here all right steve my boy which will also have his own video soon all right so we have as next upgrade a new ability white beard sends forward the shockwave bubble obliterating all enemies in his path so this changes his aoe to line aoe and you don't really see it wait on one x maybe but okay no normally it should have a little knockback this attack but apparently Maybe on the last upgrade, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the last upgrade is uh, the power of this, uh, that destroys the world. So his tsunami, which is an uh, active ability. Uh, let's put him on last. Uh, which will, uh, not will be, it is, uh, uh, he also gets stats of course, but it doesn't say it on the upgrade. But yeah, he gets an active ability, which is his tsunami, which deals damage to the whole map and uh, yeah has 80 seconds cooldown it's a global cooldown so if I have a second white beard uh, it would still be on cooldown but yeah an 80 seconds full map damage it's I don't know the exact damage it does but it's not like in AWTD like a Sid nuke or so stuff like that it's like his damage times five or something like that but yeah so then let's check out the bottom path of him. So we go again to two, and then we have Father's, uh, Father's Fury. New ability: Whitebeard slashes so violently that he air blasts his enemy. Wait, let, let me place him down in front so you can see the ability. Yeah, so he stays cone on this upgrade, and uh, he just yeah swings his weapon strong with an earthquake ability effect. Then we have extreme tenacity which increases his damage and speed again so his speed goes down but nothing changes from the attack let's put two times on again 
So now we get a new attack from him. New ability, Whitebeard spins his weapon above his head, creating a tornado that spreads the threats all surrounding enemies. Which means now he has a full AoE attack and a cone AoE attack, but you only see the full AoE. But yeah, basically he does one full AoE attack and then sw uh, does one cone attack. Alright, next upgrade is World's Strongest Man, 267 sword wounds, 152 gunshot wounds, 46 cannonball wounds, yet on his back there is not a single score. Which gives him a new attack, a splash area attack. So now he cycles through three attacks, as you can see, cone, splash, cone, full AoE, cone, so yeah, basically makes a cone attack then either the full AoE or the splash attack and yeah so we end up here with 11k damage he doesn't have any ability but yeah so basically for explanation you want to go top half when you want something that hits the whole map and have some good line AoE like straight lines in the map this map on this map, clearly his bottom path is better, since it's like more wiggly lines. Maybe he's good if you go for like lay, like defense right here, so you can place him here, so his line AoE is on his top path, can get a lot of value, and you can clear uh, like all the non-tanky enemies with the Tsunami, or probably one-shot them on this map, because they're weak, like in the story, or infinite, in the beginning. Uh, yes, so and yeah, bottom path is basically just raw damage. So yeah, that is Whitebeard. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.